Glimpses of Glory, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. Tonight's nightlight is out of Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as light. In the midst of life's daily grind, God graciously grants us moments that transcend our earthly experiences, instances when we feel fully alive and connected to the divine. These are the mountaintop experiences that offer us a glimpse of glory and remind us of the greater reality beyond this old sin-cursed world. The Bibles were replete with accounts of transcendent moments. Moses' face shone. After encountering God on Sinai, Isaiah was transformed by a vision of God's throne room. Peter, James, and John witnessed the transfiguration of Jesus, a moment so glorious that Peter wanted to build tabernacles and stay there. These mountaintop experiences, the old-timers call them, are precious gifts from God. They might be grand, like witnessing a miracle, or intimate, like the moment that you said I do to your spouse or the first gazed into your newborn's eyes. In these instants, time seems to stand still. It's as if God has lifted you into the heavens and allowed you to see beyond the veil of our fallen world and catch a glimpse of glory. While we can't live continuously in these heightened states, after all, even Elijah had to come down from Mount Carmel, we can cherish and draw strength from these moments. As Peter reflected years later on his experience of the transfiguration, these moments can become a light that shineth in a dark place, Second Peter 1.19, sustaining us through life's valleys. Moreover, these transcendent moments serve as signposts pointing towards our ultimate destiny. As Paul reminds us, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Each glimpse of glory whets our appetite for the day when we see God face to face. Here's the points of application. Recognize transcendent moments. Be attentive to those special instances where you feel close to God and fully alive. And they may be in nature, in worship, in relationships, or even in very unexpected places. And then record those experiences. Keep a journal of your mountaintop moments and write down the details while they're fresh in your memory. And then reflect and relive those times uh, so that in discouragement you can purposefully recall these moments and got, let God's memory of his nearness encourage you in that. And then share those experiences. Tell others about your glimpses of glory. Your testimony can encourage fellow believers and be a witness to non-believers. And cultivate anticipation, looking forward to future transcendent moments, knowing that God's del God delights in revealing himself to his children. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those precious, transcendent, glorious moments. When you lift us above the dreary grind of this world and let us have a glimpse of your glory, or we cherish those experiences as gifts from you. Thank you that in the valley, in the dark valley moments of life, we're encouraged by your presence in these situations. Thank you, God, for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.